So I found this free 3D character creator for Godot using the MakeHuman open source project in Python. It's called GoMakeHuman.Dot, and I'll put a link to the repository in the description. So I'll be integrating this with IDK Wool, which is my ECS-based RPG, but I just wanted to show you what I'm starting with. You can see there's quite a few sliders, so you can change the head shape and the cheek height and width. There's the nose and the lips, so it's a pretty extensive set of configuration and the eyes you can move them up or down further apart make them bigger or smaller or slanted so and you can set the gender so I'll probably make that a toggleable, and you can make them extremely muscular. Or obese. And there's a random face generator which is even worse than Oblivion's, so I love it. <laughs> and of course there's the CBBD body slide parameters if you're into that. So currently you can't change the skin or eye color or the hairstyle and I'll need to map the collision shapes and make some more animations as well. Currently the project is in Go.3, so I'll need to update it to Go.4. And I would like to update to the latest version of Make Human, but I'm not exactly sure how to do that, so I may or may not. To run the project, you'll go to the gomakehuman.repository by Lex Partisan, and you can download the zip file here, or you can run the git command through the console. And there's also some resources here for updating the models, which I'll have to watch. So you'll move the zip file to your working directory and extract it. Then if you open up the latest version of Godot and import the project dot Godot file it will prompt you to convert it to Go.4 because it was generated by Go.3. So this will automatically convert some of the code and objects, but it was still throwing errors when I tried that, so it'll be easier to just download the Go.3 version instead. So I'll go to the Go.1 website and you can download the long-term support 3.5.2 to download the zip file and you can move that 
directly into the directory and it runs standalone. You don't even need to install it. If you need a different version for whatever reason, you can go to the download repository from go.engine.org and this has all of the other versions for each operating system. So this is 3.5.2. You can also use scan instead of import. And once it's done importing the project, it runs out of the box. So that's good. So to change the skin color, I have a couple options. In the body scene under the meshes folder, I can change the albedo color in the skin material directly. So this changes the hue but keeps the shading. Or you can download the skin textures from the Create Human Python project. So I imported this from the latest version and it works. Also, if you open up the character scene, there is a skeleton here, and this is embedded in the character creator. And there's also an animation player with a dance animation. So if you drag the body scene under the character, and then assign the skeleton to the skeleton node. Now you can actually play the animation. So that means all of the bones are lined up with the mesh properly. And it shouldn't be too hard to make the swinging and walking animations, or hopefully I can find them already made somewhere else. Now you can get the Make Human project from makehumancommunity.org on the downloads page. So go to download the stable release and you can get the Windows or Linux executables already compiled, or you can download the source code, which is what I did from the GitHub. So you'll download the zip again and extract it. Then in the make human master make human folder, you can run the project. You do have to have Python 3 installed, and I had to get the Python 3 QtPy 5 OpenGL library separately. So you run it with the dot slash makehuman command. And assuming you have all of the dependencies, it should launch. So in the Make Human program, you can download additional assets in the Community tab. There's pose, clothes, target, hair, teeth, eyebrows, eyelashes, skin materials, proxy meshes, other materials, model, rig, and expressions. So you can download quite a bit. And you do have to sync with the community database first. And always check the license to make sure you can use the assets. 
So once you download them, you can add clues under the geometries. like that and the hair, teeth, and all that are the same then under modeling we have the configuration settings but there are new ones as well the body type is pretty interesting. There's male and female and other and we have like finger width and diameter as well so some additional settings there is height, which I think is pretty cool. And the age slider, so you can go from an infant to elderly with a smooth transition, which is really cool because most games just have three models for the child, adult, and old age. So to have it, there will be a lot more variation if you can set the age dynamically. And there are poses that you can select as well. So I haven't found any that have actual animation frames. I think they're all just static poses, but I'll have to look into that more. So there's quite a bit to add to make it work in IDK Wool as an actual character generator to make it playable, but I have a lot of the groundwork already covered. so. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and have a great day.